these $30 filters can attach to essentially any lens and make it look like a professional anamorphic cinema lens. Let's get right into it. So the team over at Snap Focal sent these filters over to me to test out and honestly I'm totally blown away at what they can do and how just a simple filter like this can make your images and videos look so much more professional and just give it that anamorphic look that everyone strives to get and they honestly blew my mind from the first time I used them. Now I'm going to show some photo comparisons as well as some videos I shot with this filter uh, coming up in just a minute here. So definitely stay tuned for that just to see what these filters can do. So like I said, Snap Focal sent these over to me. And I'm going to leave a link to their website down in the description. They essentially specialize in making these anamorphic filters and they have a couple different types. So the first one, uh, the one I'm using on the camera right now and the one I actually have right here is an anamorphic bokeh and flare filter. So this filter has an oval shaped hole basically right in the middle of it. And then also has a little line of like fishing line it looks like. And essentially what this does when you put it over your lens and kind of changes the pattern of the light that comes in it's like an oval shape, uh, which if you know what an anamorphic lens is, it's essentially the exact same thing that anamorphic lenses do because anamorphic lenses essentially squeeze your image together. So instead of a round bokeh, it'll squish it into an oval shape. So this is just kind of a fake way of giving the anamorphic bokeh look. And same thing with this little piece of fishing line or, you know, plastic line in here. Essentially what that does is when light hits it, it catches that like line and kind of makes the light spread out in the same way that an anamorphic lens would. I guess it's kind of really the basic way of explaining all this. Uh, but long story short, this filter right here will make your regular lens look like an anamorphic lens, which is super awesome. And so they also make the same thing like this, except without that line in there for the flares. So it just gives you the anamorphic bokeh with no change in your flaring, uh, which some people might want to do that instead. And then last but not least, they make the opposite of that, which is the anamorphic flare, but no change to your bokeh. And so this has a bunch of those little fishing line type of things right down the middle of it. So it'll make your flares look all crazy, which is also another thing that people love about anamorphic lenses. So before I show photo comparisons and examples and all that, I want to do one more test and I'm going to turn on my flashlight and just show you what happens to the flaring with this filter. As you can see, uh, it just streaks from left to right. It gives it this really unique flaring look that you see in probably most big movies that you watch. All right, now here's some photo comparisons that I took. I essentially got my Canon M50 on a tripod with a Canon FD 50 millimeter f1.8 lens. And then I put the filter on, took a picture, took the filter off and took another picture. Everything's the exact same. Aperture, the f-stop, the ISO, everything's the exact same. So right off the bat, you can see just it slightly changes just everything about the picture, you know, the out of focus areas, everything about it. It just gives it that little bit of change, but it makes it look so much more interesting. I mean, that's really the main point of anamorphic lenses and why everybody loves them is because they make everything look so interesting and just, I guess, really unique. Now, another thing you might notice is that uh, the lenses with the filter are about a stop of light darker than the other images. And that makes sense because these are essentially blocking out a bunch of light because it's covering up a lot of the, you know, the front element on the lens. So not as much light's getting in, so it does underexpose everything a little bit, which is something to note if you're shooting in low light, you're gonna need to raise your ISO or open up your aperture some more or something like that to let in enough light to equal out the image and get that extra stop of light back. But besides losing that stop of light, these images just look so good with this filter on. And uh, honestly, I'm just blown away by how interesting it makes everything look for just a $30 filter. Like I said, the link to their website is down in the description if you wanna check them out and buy some of their filters. These things are super neat just to have in your collection or just to keep in your camera bag in case you wanna use them and get that interesting anamorphic look out of your lenses. But either way, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you go out and subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment of any suggestions you have for any videos in the future. And that wraps it up, I'll see you in the next video.